Hey, it's the Brownstone Boys, and we're here in Prospect Lefferts Garden, Brooklyn, and we are not standing in front of a brownstone, as you might have noticed. We're standing in front of a cafe because we just finished renovating it. We did a complete remodel of this cafe storefront called Hibiscus Brew, and you are not gonna wanna miss the details inside. If you can tell by the exterior <laughs> here and my pink hat, you are in for a surprise. Let's head inside Hibiscus Brew. So welcome to Hibiscus Brew. We're so fortunate that Allison let us close the shop for a couple of hours while we give you a quick tour around the new renovated space. When we first met Allison, the flow of the space was the most important thing to her. She had clients originally walking all the way in the back where not only the barista stand was, but there was also the bathroom. So we decided to put the barista stand right in the front here. This way, all the customers can be greeted by the lovely staff that she has, see her weekly specials, and also watch all this movies being made. We just used a classic subwood tile in the front here. Since it is a commercial space, we just needed everything to be durable. A subway tile is a perfect way. But at the bottom here is kind of an elevated way of handling the baseboard. And what we did is we got some brass baseboards and we put it all throughout the cafe. To kind of tie in the station from the barista and also the coffee station, we added this beautiful white oak floating shelf. This is a lovely way of just putting down your coffee, maybe hanging out here. We have a full chalkboard over here, just an easy addition that we did very last minute. Allison is constantly evolving her menu. This just gives her the capability to easily erase and put up a new menu if she needs to change it out. Something that we worked around is this brand new merch shelf. So we added a beautiful pink arch to tie in that pink theme of hibiscus brew. And then we did some white oak shelves over here that are a beautiful way of her displaying all of her goods. I'm really excited to try her sorrel. It's her own recipe, so you know that we're super excited to try it. We put over here some floating shelves. Right now she has her son's book on display. And then of course we have a little seating over here that customers can just kind of grab their coffee, their morning tea, and have a nice seat over here. So another favorite thing in the front seating area are these beautiful pendants from Blueprint Lighting. These are part of the Monarch collection and they are finished in the marigold color. The bright pop of yellow gives the pink contrast of the exterior just a really nice, bright, vibrant way to light up the big hibiscus brew painted sign on the windows. <laughs> So one of my favorite things is the swinging door here for the baristas to go in and out of. We tied in the white oak that we're coming up to very closely, the slats, and we incorporate it into these swinging doors. We're gonna always have some rotating art. Working with local artists, especially in New York City, is so important. And I think this wall is just a beautiful way of them displaying their art. And before we go into a brand new area that we built out, I need to stop here and just draw your attention above me. These stunning Monterra pendants are from Glue print lighting and these are a brand new product that they're offering and I have to say we are so honored that we have one of the first installs of these lights because I think they are so appropriate and so fitting for this space. Let's check out one of the tiniest but most beautiful rooms in the space, the bathroom. So cute in here, and one of the first things that you see, obviously, is this wallpaper from Spoonflower. Super bright, nice pop of color, and we love Spoonflower. They use local artists that design all the wallpaper. This room is so special. It is really tiny. This is a really small cafe, so space is at a premium, but we went really big on the cute. We have the wallpaper, we have this custom little shelf, this tiny little sink, and we also carried the brass through into the space as well. So let's go back to my favorite area in the space, the new seating area. Thank you. 
what we did here is we built a custom bench. This bench not only has electrical outlets at the base here, but anybody that has a small space knows the importance of storage. And this bench is equipped with some of the best storage in town because every single panel of the bench opens up. You name it, there is a storage space for it. So it's gonna be utilized in the best way possible. In the back here, there needed to be some sort of separation so that you can make your smoothies while also doing your work or taking phone calls. And to achieve that, we did a beautiful white oak slat wall incorporating all the way around. This brings in some natural tones in the space. It kind of gives off this pink hue. And if you know, this place is very heavy on the pink, so it works out perfectly for all of our needs. So the cafe now looks beautiful. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. I'm just curious to know, like, how did it come about, Hibiscus Brew? It started from a thought that I've always wanted to have a space that sparks joy. And when the pandemic hit, the opportunity came about and I just jumped on it. I always wanted to bring a little piece of home from Jamaica, the tropical feel. I wanted it to be fun and light and vibrant where people can come here, feel good, eat right. That was very important to me with starting this space and I think that we've been able to do that. It has been such a pleasure working with Allison and her stunning new cafe that we love so much. It was so much fun. It looks so amazing. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you're updated whenever we have a new video out. We also recommend that you stop by Hibiscus Brew, grab your smoothie. I always recommend the Blue Power, but you can't go wrong with whatever smoothie you get. Anyways, we hope to see you guys on the next house tour. Bye.